Today is Monday, the 7th of December, the beginning of the second week, where the ministers have taken uh, charge of the negotiations. The French presidency have given a specific responsibility to a number of ministers to do consultations on various topics in different uh, uh, areas. Uh, our, one of our ministers, the East Developed Country ministers from Paus Manjarju from the Gambia is one of them. He's been given responsibility for work stream two. What they will do now is consult other ministers on the, uh, the most controversial topic areas and try to come to some kind of a consensus uh, that all the countries could then live with. Some of the sticking points are the language on loss and damage, and in particular whether loss and damage remains part of adaptation, which the Annex 1 countries want, or gets separated from adaptation, which the developing countries want. Uh, we are also grappling with language on the long-term goal, which used to be two degrees. Now we have three options, keeping it at three degrees. Well below two degrees is another phrase, or what we are asking for the vulnerable countries, one and a half degrees to be spelt out as one and a half degrees and not just well below two degrees. At the moment, we now have 126 countries who are supporting us on the one and a half degrees. It's gone up from one and a 105 countries that we started with at the beginning of Paris. That's a good sign. We're gaining momentum, but we haven't won yet. We shall see. And then uh, one other major issue that uh, still is not resolved is the financing, embedding the financing commitments in the Paris Agreement. The, the financing agreements are, are done. They, they, the rich countries have promised $100 billion a year from 2020 onwards, but the details were never worked out. How much goes for adaptation? How much for mitigation? How are they going to be delivered, how are they going to be monitored. So there's a lot of details that need to be done on the financing for it to be a credible financing uh, package. And so that always creates a problem and it's always the last thing to get agreed uh, as uh, the developed countries uh, finally st uh, step forward and, and make contributions. The good thing is that the French presidency is pushing everybody to make their concessions early and not with waste time and wait till the last minute and take us into overtime like happens so many other times. So it, we are quite hopeful that uh, as the negotiators were forced to deliver on time, the ministers will be forced to deliver on time. So we'll actually have an agreement by Friday the 11th of December.